Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu has became one of the most in-trend in vogue martial arts in recent years thanks to the likes of the UFC and figures such as Joe Rogan. One of the most intriguing aspects of Jiu-Jitsu is that technique beats strength in many instances. Unsurprisingly, this feature of Jiu-Jitsu that allows a smaller person to beat a larger person became extremely appealing to the suffragettes in their campaign for women's voting rights in the UK. On the 18th of November 1910, a group of around 300 suffragettes were met by police and crowds outside Parliament. Things turned violent and many suffragettes were assaulted and beaten by police and men in the crowds. Many suffragettes were seriously injured and two even died, with over 100 also arrested. This day in history is known as Black Friday. As the campaign for women's votes increasingly became more violent, women increasingly looked for ways to defend themselves. They turned to a Japanese martial art that developed in the 1530s in Japan, known as Jiu-Jitsu. Jiu-Jitsu and the Brazilian adaption known as Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, which was developed by the Gracie brothers in around 1925 initially, and then progressed and evolved from there emphasizes the use of leverage and strategy, allowing a smaller, weaker individual to beat a larger, stronger, more powerful opponent. And this was obviously highly appealing to the suffragettes. In the lead up to the First World War, Edith Garrett, a tiny woman who was only four foot 11, became a jiu-jitsu instructor for the Women's Social and Political Union, better known as the suffragettes. Garrard initially saw jiu-jitsu in action when her husband William went to a training session in 1899. She was impressed by the use of strategy and started taking lessons herself. To continue watching this video, please click above um, or just go to World History Decoded to watch the full length video. It should also appear just in a few seconds after this video. Thanks for watching and I'll speak to you next time.